Hey guys, I'm Cam and welcome back to the Pop Arcade. I bet you know what we're going to be unboxing this week. Well, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to be unboxing the four Blacklight Alice in Wonderland Pops today, along with four collector boxes. So this is a package that came from Pop Culture. Um, so I missed out on buying the Alice in Wonderland uh, pops and sodas by themselves, so I had to resort in buying a mystery box. Now, this mystery box is different from all the other mystery boxes that uh, Pop Culture have ever done, because this mystery box comes with collector boxes instead of individual pops. I have never, ever received a collector box, so I really actually have no idea what is in these at all. I haven't even seen people on YouTube unbox these, so I really don't know. Obviously, there's going to be a pop in these because they're made by Funko, so... Let's just get into it and start. What we'll do first is we'll get all this off the table and we'll unbox the Alice in Wonderland Pops first. So let's cut it open. Get these off the bench. All right, the Alice in Wonderland Pops, here we go. Now these Pops are going to be staying in the box, but I am gonna open them today to show you guys because these are some stunning Pops. Check it out. This is Alice curtsying. Wow, the colors on these are amazing. And guess what? Funko stickers. So it's a little bit sad that we're not gonna be seeing the pop culture sticker as much anymore because I, unlike most people, actually did enjoy the pop culture sticker. I thought they were really cool. All right, let's put this box on the floor. All right, let's go ahead and open these. Now, I'm gonna open these a lot more carefully than I normally do. In fact, I'm gonna open these from the bottom so I don't rip things by mistake. is looking awesome. So what we'll do is we'll unbox all these pops and then we'll get a black light on them and see what they look like. Alright guys, next to pull out is Cheshire Cat. Wow, he's looking really good. Wow, look at the colours on him. He has a really cool tail. Obviously he's going to stand up on that tail. Let's see. Yep, no stand for him. Okay, next we have Queen of Hearts with King. Wow. All right, so we've got a little king there. He's cute. And then we've got the queen here. Wow. She is stunning. Quite intrigued to see what these look like under a black light, so. And last but not least, we have Mad Hatter. I think he is probably my favorite out of these pops. He is really cool. Let's get him out and have a closer look at him. And these boxes are just so cool. I love a nice black box. All right, here is the Mad Hatter. Wow, he is stunning. The colors on these are just so good. So these are not gonna be going on the cabinets because like I said, I'm keeping them in the boxes and I've gone ahead and I've ordered some really nice hard stacks to put these into, so they're gonna look cool. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off and see what they look like with a black light. All right guys, are you ready to see the Alice in Wonderland pops under the black light? Here we go. Okay, the light's really bright, so I'm trying not to wash it out too much, but check it out. They are looking really good. Oh, a little bit too bright. <laughs> but they look really cool with the black light, guys. Do you guys have these pops at home? I've got the black light sodas, they're coming as well, so I can't wait to get those, and hopefully we get some chasers as well. But how cool do they look? It's hard to put the black light in the, ex in the right position for the camera, so yeah. Guys, we've got four collector boxes now to open. So let's start with the Overwatch box because I have no idea what Overwatch is. Never seen it. Um, it's I, I know it's a game, obviously, um, but I have no idea what's in here. It looks like on the box it says there's four pieces, so I'm guessing there's four things. So let's crack her open and see. All right, yep. So there's two pops in here. So I didn't think there was going to be two pops, so that's pretty cool. So we've got me in a sort of Santa 
outfit there, so that's pretty cool. And secondly, we've got Tracer. So Tracer's in some sort of elf costume, I guess. So they do look like cool pops, but I have no idea what they're from. And it looks like they're from 2018, so they are pretty old pops. All right, what else have we got in here? We've got a cool Santa hat. Oh, it's not a Santa hat, it's a... What do you call this? A, a stocking. And it's actually... It's really soft. Oh, it's so soft, in fact. It smells... Toxic. But it's really soft. <laughs> and last but not least, we have a... Pocket Pop Keychain. Snowball. So I'm probably not going to be keeping these pops. Um, I mean, they're cool looking pops, but they just don't fit in with my collection, so... I'm probably going to sell those or do something with them, who knows. So the next two collector boxes we have is a Marvel box and a Avengers box. So let's go ahead and open the Avenger one first. Alright, let's crack this open and see what is inside. There's a sticker here that says DLC inside, so... I don't know what DLC is, so hopefully it's something good. Ooh, we've got some free codes we can use online for something. We have a sticker of a sloth, so that's actually pretty cool. What a cute little sloth. And then in here we have a... Who is this guy? It's a Marvel Game Verse Abomination. So I have no idea who that is. He must be from a Avengers style game. And then in here as well we have a special edition pop pocket keychain again um, of Iron Man. And then we also have a Avengers Day San Francisco little pin. So that's pretty cool. But once again, this stuff doesn't really tickle my fancy. So yeah. All right, let's open the Marvel collector box and see what is in here. See, I've never ever bought collector boxes because they don't really do collector boxes in like things that I like. If they did Star Trek collector boxes, that would be cool. All right, let's crack this open and see. Oh, okay, we've got another sticker here. So Fantastic Four sticker. And we have a Venomized The Thing here, pop vinyl. So that's pretty cool. But once again, I probably won't be keeping him. And we've also got another pin here. So that looks like a, a Venom pin. Is that Venom? I have no idea. And then a Venomized Silver Surfer pocket keychain. So that's pretty cool as well. Last but not least, we have the Rick and Morty collector box. So this one should be cool, I reckon. This is probably going to be the coolest one out of them all. But I've never seen Rick and Morty either, so <laughs> I'm not sure. But this is the biggest box out of them all, so surely there's going to be good stuff in here. Let's see. All right. Oh, there's two pops in here. Two pops and... What? There's toilet paper in here. That's so weird. All right, let's look at the keychain first. So we have a The Crown, Rick and Morty. So that's not even a pop, it's sort of a, a crown. It says King of <laughs> on it. All right, and then what else have we got in here? We <laughs> A King of <laughs> Whoopee Cushion. Go take it out of the wrapping for it to work. Okay, and then we have Rick and Morty toilet paper. So you just get one roll of Rick and Morty toilet paper with their faces on it. So that's not going to last very long. And then the two pops that come with it are... These are pretty cool pops, actually. So we have Rick with crown, which is pretty cool. And then we have another pop in here, which is Tony. And Tony's sort of holding a, uh, a sandwich or something. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, probably will not be keeping these, so... Sorry, Funko. Well guys, that's a bit it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this video if you liked it. And you can also add me on all of my socials, The Pop Arcade or Cam's Pop Arcade for my Instagram. I've got so many packages waiting to be unboxed, so make sure you're sticking around for the next one. Thanks guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.